Today I want to talk about a pair of shoes that I was so surprised at when I finally got them in hand. It's a crazy pair, it's a cool box. Let's just get into it. Starting off, this is not the box that I was expecting when I ordered these. You can see it is an all black Nike box. You have the shiny Nike logo with the swoosh. And shout out to Goat for putting a bunch of tags on the box. I hate when they do that. That's kind of just a dumb pet peeve. But this is a Nike Airship, believe it or not. And there's something interesting is you can actually see it says Airship PE on the back of the box, but this isn't a PE they just released to the public and they're sitting for like 160 bucks. So let's just get into it. Very excited about this pair. And there's something about this pair that is completely different than all the other airships. Goat branding right here. We have the Tech Gray Nike Airship PE, I guess. about the box is pretty simple get rid of it there but this pair of shoes is just straight up beautiful now flashback to 1984 when the airship first came out Jordan was trying to come up with the signature shoe he actually wore the airship before he ever wore a pair of Jordan ones which is pretty interesting Nike is like hey I think we have something there so they finally re-released some airships they've slowly done it they came out with the new beginnings pack we had an all red pair and then we've slowly started to get pairs pretty simple colorways we recently got the bike airs from Nigel and then we got the GR release we've seen some leaks of the NYs coming out soon that we talked on the Beyond Kicks podcast if you want to hear more about that and then these just kind of suddenly dropped and I found these on goat originally which is why we had the goat stuff in the box is I saw these on goat and I was like I don't even think that these have a release date and I got them for 180 bucks like two weeks early and I literally at the time we had no release date scheduled it just kind of popped up a week before that these were releasing and they ended up releasing June 7th for a retail price of I think 120 130 bucks which is pretty good for a high top so what makes this shoe so special let's just get into it so this shoe is completely different than all the other airships and it's way better because of one thing so starting from the back we have a gray suede which is different than all the other airships I'm gonna pull this pair of airships out because I got these for celebrating 100k on Instagram I thought it was a cool pair it's yellow kind of with my logo but you can see this is just leather it's like a stiff leather up top but there's no suede so the suede is right off the bat different we've seen that with the bike airs they had a really cool logo on the back but this is suede love to see it we also have the Nike air on the back we have sort of a peach tongue which I love it when they do peach tongues because I think it's just a really good accent on an all gray shoe shoe tree pretty basic there and there's actually a Jordan insole on these if you didn't know it's got the Jordan logo on the back and very fitting to Jordan it feels like a Jordan 4 insole it's pretty thick it's got that side rubber piece solid comfort there the thing that makes these completely different than all the other airships let me see if you can figure it out can you see it can you see it can you see the difference if you cannot it is that this is a good leather a leather that's actually worth wearing so this the gr airship yellow colorway it has the plastic leather the pleather the same as a panda dunk or a jordan one mid or just kind of a cheaper shoe it's got that really like stiff fake leather that I don't like. I don't know if anyone likes it, but it's just not good. I still have not gotten the every games in and I'm thinking that they're pretty similar to this, but these are just kind of a letdown. Like they're really cool, love the colorway, but the, the leather is just not good. These, when I pulled them out of the box, I can tell you that I was so surprised. This is such good leather on these. It is extremely high quality, especially on the collar up here. The toe box is the same leather. I mean, it's just solid. You can actually see it when you like fold it in, how it crinkles and it's just like, it's good. So this is just like surprising to me. Like I think airships are better than Jordan ones in some aspects because they're low key. You can wear them with everything. Some of the colorways are really cool. They have a ton of history. If you go like this, you can't really even tell that it's an airship. It basically looks like a Jordan one. The only Thing that's a little different is the toe boxes are pretty thick and then the outsoles are really different as well and they look like a 1985 retro midsole where it's got that kind of extra grip outsoles just the same as the 1985 retros the tech grays have really good leather and i really recommend them for under 200 bucks it's a great shoe you can pick up you can buy them on goat stock x you probably can find them for retail as well so airships 
are they the next big shoe? I don't know. I mean, Jordan 1s had their moment when TikTok was blown up over COVID. I think the airships might be next. So let me know your thoughts on airships, if you'd actually wear them, and thank you for watching.